if DEFRA ignore uh, the wildlife situation within TB uh, in the whole of the country, the whole of the country will be affected eventually with TB. Um, it is spreading so fast it's unbelievable in our area in Devon. It's not have you had TB, it's when did you have it or when you're going to get it. I don't believe the scientists really understand what is going on out in the farm itself. Uh, we have been affected with TB on and off since 90, uh, 2001 and we have lost 75 cattle in that period. Um, it's just devastated our herd. It's taken out some of the best bloodlines that we have had. And uh, there was some uh, understanding when they were paying compensation that I could go out and restock. But now, I mean, the compensation is so terrible. Last year, we were getting £600 for mature animals, which was a, a sad joke. A sad joke. That the general public could see that agricultural has not got a vendetta against badgers. It is just against anything with TB. I don't want to keep a cow on my farm with TB. But if DEFRA will not, and government will not bite the bullet, and get rid of any species that has TB, we're in a lose-lose situation for the rest of time. Of cattle that went under the table valuation, the last, we sent 26 under the table valuation, and I lost at least a thousand pounds a cow on the valuation of those cows. And my business can't go on sustaining losses like this. Then I lost all the milk of those 26 cows as well, and the calves that they were carrying, which is my next generation. I've got wildlife travelling my whole farm every night, so I have no option. My cows stay in all the time, or they go out as normal. I have not got the type of buildings to keep my cows in 24 7. So my cows have to go out. And so therefore I am now free of TB two weeks ago, when will I go down again? Possibly the next time I have a routine test, which is about three months. Um, my next generation is my son home farming now, and it's just devastating their futures. I have had my time, I should be retired, but with TB, how can I hand on to a son who could lose half of it in the next 12 months?